My name is Chris, and you're watching an instructional video that will demonstrate how to create and manage users in Windows 2000 Advanced Server. To begin with, we're going to go down to the start bar, go up to settings, and click on control panel. Once that opens up, we're going to come up here to administrative tools and double click on that. And then we're going to double click on computer management. That's going to bring up the computer management console. And from here, under system tools, we're going to scroll down to local users and groups and hit the little plus sign next to it. And you notice it says users and groups. We're going to click on users. And you will see a list of the already pre-made accounts that come installed with Windows Advanced Server. Now, on the administrator, you can double click and you can edit this account. As some of the features, you can change the description, you can add a complete name for the account, you can add what user groups this member is a part of, you can alter their profile and their remote access. Now, for now, we're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to right click and select New User. We're going to call this one Chris. And we're going to give the description, the test account for the informational video. Now, we're going to give it a password of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you'll have to type that in a second time. Now you'll notice here there are several different options, two of which we can't actually select right now. The first one is user must change password and next logon. This feature, when you select it, it works once. The very next time this account logs in, though we'll be prompted to put in a new password. This is for security reasons. Now once they've done that, that box will automatically become unchecked and they can then log in without having to change your password in the future. Account disabled means that that username it exists but it cannot log in. It's just completely deactivated and will not work. Now these two options will pop up after we've created the account and logged it in. And what it's going to do is this first one, users cannot change password, means it just that. When I log into this account, I can't go in and manually change my password on my own. I have to get an administrator or someone to change my password for me or give me this prompt to change my password when I log in. Now, Windows Advanced Server, Windows 2000 Advanced Server, has another security feature every so often the password will automatically need to be changed after a certain period of time this option when it's selected means your password is good indefinitely you will never have to change it unless prompted to by an admin so now we're going to come down here and we're just going to hit create and we're going to hit close and there's our user account right there. And we can double click on it to edit this information. Let's go ahead and make him a member of the administrators group. All right, now here you'll see it now says administrators as well as users. We can then remove that by hitting remove. So we're just gonna hit okay. Now we can right click, we can set a password and it'll ask for the new password. We can delete it and it'll ask us, are we sure we want to? We're just going to hit no for now. And then we can rename it to something else. But we're just going to leave it as Chris. Properties again, I'll take you back in here just like double clicking on it. And that's all there is to it. My name is Chris and this has been an instructional video demonstrating how to create and manage users in Windows 2000 Advanced Server Operating System. 
I hope you enjoyed watching and the information provided will be useful to you.